This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, June the 9th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in, and it looks like it's going to be somewhat unsettled. There's a look at our SkyCam network from Chiha and a beautiful sunrise shot this morning. And there's a look at Demopolis and clouds definitely rolling into central Alabama. The big culprit for our weather for the next uh, few days is going to be actually what sometimes referred to as a dirty ridge. That is, we have a big ridge over the central part of the United States, but underneath that, we, uh, or you know, on the southern side of that, we have a bit of a disturbance in the form of a little, uh, cl uh, little closed low that uh, is in there. And that closed low responsible for creating a bunch of showers in the Gulf of Mexico and down along the Gulf Coast, and those are beginning to advance northward. And we can certainly use the rain. It looks like on the order of one to three inches are possible across central Alabama, the least amount in the northwest part of the state and the highest amount in the southeast part of the state. And, of course, drought conditions in the southern part of the state are pretty uh, bad, so they can certainly use that. The main westerlies are pretty far north, so as a result, most of this, the slight risk areas are going to be across the northern tier of the United States. There's a look at SPC's day one, and there's a look at day two. Now, notice they do have sea techs down in uh, southern Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. Indeed, uh, with that closed low up there and diurnal heating, uh, lapse rates in the upper atmosphere are not that good, but with diurnal heating, there may be some isolated storms that could reach um, uh, isolated storms could reach severe limits, so uh, they're not outlooking that area. And the tropics remain quiet. All right, the 06E GFS model run this morning, and there it is. There's uh, what we're going to be following for the next uh, few days as we see this uh, disturbance uh, that is kind of cut off from the westerlies and kind of meandering our way coming out of the Northwest Gulf and um, positioning itself up over the southeastern U.S. This is for Sunday, and you can see the trough sharpens up a little bit, a little more identifiable there, uh, but certainly uh, bringing us uh, rain chances across much of the southeastern U.S. with probably the heaviest amounts down along the Gulf Coast and southern Alabama into southern uh, Georgia. On Monday, uh, it's still there. It looks like it's trying to phase up with the trough coming across the northern tier of the United States, across uh, from the, the uh, central Canada and the, the western Great Lakes, uh, but it really doesn't get pulled out completely, and so that keeps us in a rather wet pattern as we see a frontal system that is moving across the central plain states. By Tuesday, you'd think that would be gone, but you see that the uh, big closed low over central Canada is just kind of rotating around. There's still little disturbances in there, and so we kind of hold that back, and so we stay uh, still wet through Tuesday. And so it looks like, as I say, a bit of a stormy, unsettled period ahead. The trough is still over the southeastern U.S., um, as it gets a little bit of not quite reinforcement, but it, it kind of just hangs back there. And so that does keep us uh, still fairly wet. Although by Wednesday, we're beginning to show signs that maybe most of the rain will be or more of the rain will be a little further to our east. Uh, and that means, of course, we will warm up. We're still under the ridge, but the ridge still got a little bit of a dirty look to it uh, because of the, the bit of troughiness uh, on the southern side of that uh, ridge. And so we still stay somewhat unsettled, and I don't think we're going to be able to exactly remove showers from the forecast. Uh, we stay under that overall pattern. The ridge is still there over the eastern part of the country, but notice we've got these little disturbances, those little vorticity centers that you see along the Gulf Coast, so that keeps us disturbed. And there is Saturday, a week from today, and it's still there. So again, looks like for the next week or so, and especially for the next three or four days, it looks like we're definitely going to stay in the clouds, scattered showers, uh, showers pretty likely for Sunday, Monday, and maybe even Tuesday. Uh, and so that's going to help keep temperatures down as well as we stay in the, uh, the 80s. And uh, finally, going out into voodoo country, it looks like that overall pattern is kind of there still around the 19th. So it's still somewhat unsettled. And finally, on the 24th, we begin to see some signs of becoming less, set, less unsettled and uh, the ridge taking over. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for today. Expect to have the next one posted uh, first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day, and be sure to stay tuned to the blog for later information as we keep it updated. In the meantime, Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.